Kia ora e tefano. I'm Tim McNamara, also known as Tim Clicks, and I'm here to talk to you about why I've decided to try and organize a conference about the Rust programming language here in New Zealand. Most of the reasons are professional, but a couple of them are actually quite personal. <laughs> Let's start with the location. I want to share New Zealand with the world. It's a special place and most people say that they want to come here and sometimes they actually need an excuse to experience it. Hopefully Rust Forge will be a way for you to kind of clear something off your bucket list. <laughs> now, let's talk about creating a tech event that is excellent. One of the things that I notice about many conferences is that they sort of feel flat. And here is my best guess as to why that is. Conferences and other tech, uh, other events are expensive to run. They're risky and organizers and sponsors want to reduce their risk. So to reduce risk, they fill the slots up with advertising and shallow talks delivered by salespeople or potentially even worse, they use the premier keynote slots as space for sponsors to talk about topics that are barely relevant to the audience. The whole experience feels very, uh, just sort of lacks a genuineness that I find uh, really unsatisfying and it kind of sucks a lot of the energy away. The <clears throat> conferences are typically held in hotels and conference centers that actually have an interest in keeping you on site to maximize revenue for the hosting venue. Rust Forge is actually going to be a little bit different. We're being hosted on a cheaper value, a cheaper venue along Wellington's waterfront. It's a refurbished warehouse that was once used for storage when the whole area was used as a working port. Since the 1970s or so, the commercial port has kind of moved a few kilometers away, leaving this wonderful civic space that you're actually very welcome to come and enjoy. So please do. The venue is within conference, sorry, the conference venue is within walking distance of Wellington's major hotels, restaurants, shops, art galleries, museums, and sort of many of the other tourist attractions that you might associate with the city like its cable car up to its botanic gardens. I mean, within 100 meters or so of the event, so it's probably less than a minute's walk, there are at least eight restaurants and bars, plus a couple of cafes that are really quite good and a really wonderful little ice cream place. The building itself hosts a rock climbing wall, a kayak rental business, and uh, on the same wharf, there's an e-bike rental company and a helipad uh, that has a business that offers scenic flights. <laughs> You'll also discover a really wonderful park, a, uh, a lot of public art, and even if you are so inclined, a hidden geocache or two. Rust Forge will optimize for you the participant, it will optimize for everyone's experience. And that's the reason why I really want to bring this event to life. Rust Forge 2025 is going to draw people from across the globe. We are a year away, but we already have expressions of interest from over a dozen countries, including uh, people saying that they want to speak who come from some of the world's major tech companies. This is going to be a major event, something that hasn't really happened in Australia or New Zealand in a long time. There's a lot more to talk about, and I'll leave some of that to future videos. But if you're a Rust developer or you're kind of curious about this language, I do encourage you to consider attending. It's going to be a great opportunity to learn about Rust and meet other Rust developers. There's a sign-up sheet on the website that you're welcome to add your email address to. Otherwise, please follow this account for more information.